it happens to all of us once in a while, you know, us women. <laughs> so long, that you think that you're in a real relationship and it's not as real as it seems. Shakira and Piqué seemed like the perfect couple. The fashionable Spanish football player who dated a successful singer after meeting her at the 2010 World Cup. Their cute kids, the warmth, fabulous lifestyle, and many more things that made us all die of envy and admiration for this couple who lacked nothing. That's why no one would blame us for being surprised when the news of their breakup went viral around the world. However, things may not necessarily have been perfect and rosy for the Grammy Award winner and the FC Barcelona athlete. Over the years, Shakira has been telling and revealing subtle details of what was going on in their relationship behind closed doors, implying perhaps that things were not going as smoothly as many of us thought. Want to know more? Stay with us to discover the 10 times Shakira left clues about her relationship with Gerard Piquet. Number one, interview about her work, March 2014. In 2014, the Colombian participated in an interview where she talked about what was then her most recent studio album, Shakira, and the song she performed with Rihanna, Can't Remember to Forget You. She said, half jokingly, half seriously, that her boyfriend was quite jealous and territorial. In her own words, he's very territorial, and since he no longer lets me do videos with men, well, I have to do them with women. It's more than implied in our relationship that I can't do videos like I used to. Piquet was possessive and controlling with Shakira. He set a number of rules she unfortunately followed. She was not allowed to film or perform with another male artist without his permission. She was not allowed to dress in something sexy without his permission. She was not allowed to meet or be in the room with other men without his permission. She was not allowed to speak her mind on certain topics even when she was going to praise Piquet. And curiously, since the release of the songs Me Gusta and Te Felicito, the singer appeared again in music videos in duets with male artists. Maybe after the honeymoon period of their relationship, Shakira started to see Piquet as who he really was. She started to regain control of her music career and her life. She no longer had to satisfy a controlling partner. Number two, Me Gusta song, January 2020. In January 2020, Shakira released the song Me Gusta in duet with rapper Annual AA. However, the lyrics suggested that the couple was already going through some issues. People express themselves in many ways. Painters draw their sorrows, writers project themselves in their books, and artists in their music. In the first seconds, the song is saying, we have been fighting a couple of months, and I've already told you so many times. I'm trying to start a conversation, but you don't give me a bit of your attention. You always want to do what you want, but do you want to fix everything in bed? That part concerning fix everything in bed could be true, as many Spanish sources claimed that PK could be a sex addict, and Shakira was fed up with that. Shakira went on to say this in her song, but perfect love is only seen in the series, and when I talk to another, you complain to me, but you are the one who drives me away. You don't measure your words and you hurt me. And if you leave me and you leave, it's because you want to. It's no longer fair that you sweeten my ear so that in the end, you don't accomplish anything with me. What you tell me, but I know they are excuses. There is no doubt. You say you love me, but I feel you use me. Pique refused to talk about their issues. Before their breakup, Shakira suggested they go to couple therapy to save their relationship, but Pique refused. He was also getting angry that Shakira received outside support. She was not allowed to talk to anybody about their issues, especially men. The rest of the lyrics show curious evidence that their relationship may have been cooling for some time. Less than a minute before the end, she compares the initial stages of their relationship with all the details and attention she was receiving and the distance of now to end the song with the words, You used to fill my house with roses, and now it just lives full of your things. You sent it when I was going to visit you, and now you don't even buy the blade to shave. You took me to dinner, to the movies, and to dance, you bought me so much that your card was going to explode. And now you're walking down the street and here with me, you forget the details. Do your part, my love. Let's talk about it for both of us. Was it a hint? Coincidence? A bit of both? While Shakira was projecting herself and felt invincible, PK was not paying attention to his partner and the health of their relationship. Number three, her interview with 60 Minutes, July 2020. Shakira, alongside Gerard Piquet, appeared on the 60 Minutes TV show, interviewed by the renowned journalist Bill Whitaker. She talked about her career and personal life. Shakira expressed that marriage is scary for her when asked why Piquet and her are not married. To tell you the truth, marriage scares me. I don't want him to see me as his wife. I prefer him to see me as his girlfriend, his lover. It's like a little forbidden fruit. I want to keep him on his toes. I want him to think that anything is possible depending on the behavior, she told the journalist. Despite having everything with PK, the kids, the fame, the money, Shakira never wanted to get married. People say this interview showed she was insecure, but her gut feeling was right. She was suspicious of his behavior and maybe deep down knew her relationship with someone younger than her by 10 years was never going to last. 
She always wanted PK to show his commitment to her. She was also smart because no wedding means no divorce, and she does not have to share half of her earnings with him. She is worth 300 million, PK just 80 million. Number four, don't wait up, July 2021. In July 2021, a year before her separation, the singer released the single Don't Wait Up, where everything from the emotional lyrics to her sensual presentation in the video, where she is seen radiant on a surfboard and with the sunset on her back, were clear signs of the feelings born from a dying relationship and her attempts to attract the attention of a distant partner. Shakira made it clear in the song in the first minute when she starts by talking about her couple bedroom activities in the past. Do you remember how we lit up the room and how you felt before you met all my different moods? but now I drive you mad when I hit you with the truth. Then she speaks about her distant lover. Why won't you put down your phone and look me in the eye? Got all dressed up for you, but you seem so occupied. At the beginning of the last minute of the song, she imagines herself ending her relationship with PK. If I ditch you, then maybe you would understand. Clearly Shakira was starting to be done with PK in 2021. She told everyone that leaving him was a possibility. She spoke again how he does not want to face the truth, very childish from him. Number five, interview with Holly H, February 2022. British TikTok sensation Holly H recently kicked off her Planet Weirdo with Holly H podcast, streamed only on Amazon Music, and kicked off on a high note with the Grammy-winning sensational artist as a guest on her first episode. They chatted about several topics, the song Don't Wait Up, and the reasons why, despite two children and a 12-year relationship, she has chosen not to get married. She may have first hinted there was troubling brewing on the horizon. The singer shared at the time that they often did not see eye to eye when it came to many issues, such as punctuality, which often brought on some arguments. My poor husband, my boyfriend, daddy of my kids, whatever you want to call him, he has to wait for me so long. He's tired of waiting because Colombian time is not the same as Catalan, Spanish time, she laughingly told the TikToker. Number six, his Instagram post about surfing, March 31st, 2022. In March 2022, the Colombian singer uploaded a reel to Instagram where she gathered with a group of friends on a cloudy day to go to the beach to surf, a sport she is fond of. However, the highlight of the post was what she put in the 2,200 character space at the bottom of the publication. After months on a forced surfing fast, today was like riding a bike as the waves seemed to carry my troubles away. Could they be referring to everyday problems that no one is oblivious to? Or were they referring to problems in their relationship? You can decide yourself. Number seven, Te Felicito, April 2022. Almost a month before the couple announced their split, Te Felicito was released, a song that the Colombian singer released as a duet with Puerto Rican Rao Alejandro, where she plays a woman who literally builds the man of her dreams only to discover that he wasn't such a thing. Don't Wait Up is more about that final stage where you do what you can to save the relationship, while Te Felicito is where there is nothing left to do, the relationship is over, and the only thing left is to say goodbye. The lyrics give no room for a misinterpretation. To complete you, I broke into pieces. They warned me, but I didn't listen. I realized that yours is false. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. Don't tell me you're sorry. It sounds sincere, but I know you well, and I know you're lying. I congratulate you, how well you act. Many reports are saying that Shakira's brother knew about PK's infidelities, so he probably warned his sister, but she refused to listen. Shakira also hired a private detective to follow and report about PK's activities when she became so suspicious of his behavior. She probably discovered something about his personality she did not know. The reason she said everything about you is false in her song. The song Te Felicito basically means love makes you blind so you don't see your partner's imperfections, flaws, and mistakes. Number eight, her Mother's Day post, May 8th, 2022. On Mother's Day, Shakira uploaded a photo with her two children, Milan and Sasha, aged nine and seven respectively, and where they both kissed her. But nothing catches the eye like the caption. Just with a kiss, they heal everything and make it worth it to keep fighting for them. Happy day to all mothers. Remember at that time, PK already left the family home and went to live alone in Barcelona to live an out of control party boy lifestyle. Shakira is isolated in Barcelona. She has no friends or family there. So her kids were a huge comfort to her after losing the man she loved for 11 years. Number nine, interview on ITV, May 2022. In May, Shakira appeared on the talk show This Morning, a well-known program of the British channel ITV with the presenter Alison Hammond. In this interview, the presenter and the artist discussed many topics, including her collaboration with Rao Alejandro on the single Te Felicito, which is about a woman who decides to design her own definition of the perfect man, only to discover in the end that he is not as perfect as she designed him to be. As she herself says during the interview, I think it happens to all of us from time to time. You think you're in a real relationship and it's not as real as it seems. Number 10, 
Shakira wore Princess Diana's revenge dress, June 2022. In June 1994, Princess Diana wore a dress not so fit for a princess. Soon called Princess Diana's revenge dress, it was an off-the-shoulder, form-fitting black silk dress which broke royal protocol. It is called the revenge dress because she wore it the same evening Prince Charles confessed to his adultery with Camilla Parker Bowles. While some would have been like, I can't face it this evening, Diana went out in that dress looking drop-dead gorgeous. She made a big statement. Coincidence or not, Shakira walked the red carpet at the premiere of the film Elvis during the Cannes Festival. She caused a sensation in an elegant and tight black strapless gown, which revealed her incredible figure. It does describe women's personality perfectly, especially when they were just cheated on. That freedom Diana felt to wear this dress after the scandal hit the media outlets is the same freedom Shakira felt while attending Cannes. Shakira was keen to show PK what he was going to miss in front of the world. An elegant, sexy, multi-millionaire woman, mother of his two children that he traded for a 20-year-old blonde hostess girl who has just started her life and a party boy lifestyle. Although the couple always kept their relationship wrapped in a reasonable aura of privacy and did not reveal many details, it is true that things are said in many ways, and evidently she gave numerous signs that are now clear to all. What clues surprised you the most? Do you know any more clues left by Shakira during her time with PK? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm.